Hi, I'm Holly Otten and I am co-founder of Tin Man Ministries. My husband and I birthed Tin Man Ministries in 2012. Tin Man Ministries is a ministry that promotes healing for survivors of sexual abuse and we also advocate for victims of the sex trafficking trade. But I want to share a testimony with you because it's I shared it with someone recently and they said, you know, Holly, you really, more people need to hear this testimony. So this is why I felt inspired to share it in this video. Uh, I hear it's very common um, to hear people struggling with or battling fibromyalgia. And uh, most times fibromyalgia is um, accompanied by uh, chronic fatigue. And also depression goes along with that, insomnia. Well, for 20 months, I suffered with these things. And um, I had a very debilitating uh, case of fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. Um, I, I, most days I was in bed or on the couch. Um, if I had any energy, it would be gone by say 3 p.m. and for the rest of the day, I would be horizontal. Um, so for 20 months I suffered. Uh, I had so much pain that if someone just touched me, I would flinch. I would, uh, it caused me pain. To lay down in bed, to go to sleep at night, it was painful because there was something touching my body. And therefore I was on six bottles of medication. I had medication to stay awake. I had medication to go to sleep. I had medication for depression. Um, so six bottles of medication and that those medications helped me, but they did not take away the pain, take everything away. Um, so for 20 months I prayed and I believed God to heal me. Um, I, I, actually, I'll be honest to say that the first six months that I suffered with this illness, um, I didn't pray. Um, I don't know what, why, because I believed in healing and God had healed me of other things previously. Uh, but for whatever reason, um, I don't know if I thought I deserved it or what. But after six months, God kind of woke me up and said, hey, you can pray this away. Um, so I started to um, believe God for healing. And there are two promises from God's word that I clung to. One was from Mark 5, the story of the woman with the issue of blood. Um, I thought, well, you know what, if God healed her, then he can heal me too. And the other verse was from Isaiah 40, verse 31, which says that you will rise up and soar with the wings of an eagle. You will run and not grow weary. You will walk and not grow faint. Um, so I, I believed God. I believed in the power of God's word. Um, and so for 20 months, uh, I prayed and I, I would, whenever there was um, any, at any church or prayer gathering, if they were praying for healing, I'd raise my hand. I was always asking for people to pray for me for healing. Um, I, uh, I really sought God hard um, on healing me. And um, one day I told my husband, who lacked faith in this area because he hadn't seen any such miracle, um, I told him, I said, you just wait. I said, you're going to see it. You're going to see me. God's going to heal me right before your eyes. Well, um, I remember when it was close to the day that God healed me, when I was in a lot of pain, um, I... I had so much pain that I couldn't, just to open the, the, the cupboards in my kitchen um, to make a meal, to open a cupboard would cause me pain. To uh, wash under my arms would cause me pain. Um, I couldn't stand for more than 15 minutes without being fatigued. Um, I, some days I had to hold my head up. I would put my elbows on a table. And I would hold my head up because I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Uh, some days I would be in my car and I would be driving um, to try to go to the store or maybe pick my children up from school. 
and I couldn't. I had to turn around and go home. Um, I had a two-year-old and I couldn't lift him up. I couldn't carry my child in my arms. Um, and there were mornings when um, my two-year-old, uh, he would come to me in bed in the morning and he would pull me my, my clothing and say, come on, mama, it's time to wake up. Come on, you gotta get up. But I couldn't. Um, so I really suffered severely for those months. And I, I suffered with depression. Um, it, it was a horrible time. I had three children. I, could, I couldn't make meals most days. My children ate frozen foods that I just stuck in the microwave. Um, so when it came near the day that God would heal me, I was reading the Lord's, the Word of God, and I was in Hezekiah, I'm sorry, I was in um, 1 Kings 20, where it speaks of um, Isaiah going to Hezekiah. Um, God told him to go to Hezekiah and tell him that he was going to die of a sickness. And uh, Isaiah left, and Hezekiah started crying out to God. And he was just pleading with God. And uh, so God spoke to Isaiah before he even left the grounds of Hezekiah's uh, palace. Um, Go back and tell Hezekiah, I have heard his prayers, I have seen his tears, and I will heal him. Well, when I read, read those words, I felt that God was speaking them to me. And I knew that I knew that he knew that God was speaking to me and that he was going to heal me. And Isaiah, um, the word was in three days. So I wrote it down in my journal and I, I believed and I expected three days that I would be healed. Well, on the third day, I didn't get healed. Well, that, I guess that number wasn't for me. Um, but within a few weeks, I was doing a Bible study with my children and my 10 year old uh, opened up the Bible and he started reading this same exact verse. And again, I just knew God was confirming that word to me that he was going to heal me. Uh, so shortly thereafter, within weeks, I went to a conference in Florida. And um, this was like a miracle that I would even plan such a trip because I couldn't, I could barely get through a day, you know, um, heart, uh, vertical. You know, um, and so God just put it in me um, to go to this conference. My, my way, my trip was paid for. So I'm on this, um, I arrived the first night and um, I opened up the Word of God. And I, when I opened up my Bible, I opened up to the same exact verse. So this was the third time that God spoke this word to me. The very next day at the conference, we were worshiping. The whole, uh, you know, the, all the people gathered there, hundreds were worshiping. And during worship, I stood up and I started worshiping God. And we worshiped for at least an hour. That night, I was in bed in the hotel. It was a midnight, right around midnight. So I remember looking at my clock. When I was laying down, I got the revelation. I said, wait a minute. I stood for an hour and I did not get fatigued. And I raised my arms in the air and I worshiped God for at least 20 minutes. Did I have my arms in the air? And I thought to myself, I had no pain. I couldn't do this without pain. To do this for 20 minutes and not have pain and to stand for an hour and not be fatigued, I knew right then that God had healed me. Um, the next day, I went down to the worship leader. She was a, a leader in this ministry and I told her my story and I told her how I believed that God would heal me and she believed it and she shared it uh, with the whole uh, group there of people um, when I came home from that three-day weekend conference, I came home and um, I threw out my six bottles of medication into the garbage can. Um, and that next weekend was a weekend of firsts. 
it had been the first time that I could do so many, I did all these things that I couldn't do for 20 months. I danced with my husband. I went tubing with my family. I got in a tube and I had them push, pull me on the waves. I had no pain. I was, I cooked up a storm, like Saturday, I think it was, I, I cooked like eight hours. I cooked and I baked and because I loved, I used to love to cook and bake and um, I did that all day. I, I played frisbee with my kids. I did all these firsts. Um, it was so wonderful. It was so awesome. And uh, my best friend at the time, uh, right before the trip, she's, she wasn't a believer. And uh, before the trip, I had, we had gotten together and um, she saw me like holding my head up. She saw, I mean, you could look at me and you could tell that I was sick. I was a sickly person. And, uh, and I was just struggling, you know, and you could, she could tell that. Well, when I came back, we saw each other and she was shocked at what she saw. She saw with her eyes that I was completely healed. And because of what she saw, she started asking me about Jesus. And that began, uh, for the first time, our relationship changed where we could talk about Jesus together and where we prayed together and shared the Word of God together and, and I led her to the Lord. And um, it was so amazing um, to see that. Um, but I just, I just wanted to share this story because I know that there are people out there that also struggle with this disease, um, which they have no cure for. They don't know how, where, how, how we get it, um, you know, the cause. And there's really no treatment. I went through um, medical testing for a solid year and they just, every test kept showing up negative. And finally the doctor said, well, this is how we know it's fibromyalgia when everything else comes out negative. Um, so there was just not just one test, but, um, and maybe there's others that are suffering with other diseases. Um, I just pray that this, my testimony will bring you hope. Um, and one last thing, um, the, God, after the woman with the issue of blood was healed, Jesus said to her, your faith has healed you. When I was in Florida that weekend and God had healed me, I heard him speak to my heart. That next day after I realized he had healed me, I heard him speak to my heart and he said to me, your faith has healed you. So I pray that this, my testimony, will impart, will increase your faith to believe God for the miracles, uh, for the miracle of healing, maybe in your own body or maybe in, in a loved one um, or just any miracle, any supernatural miracle, any, anything where you're crying out to God and you need a miracle, I pray that this will um, boost your faith and, uh, and I pray that you will see the fruit of your prayers now in the land of the living and you will share your testimony and tell what, what the Lord has done for you as I am doing now. Thank you. God bless you.